Let's say we had 12 cards from a standard deck of playing cards. There's six black ones, maybe say six clubs, and uh, six red ones, uh, let's say diamonds. Now let's take these the, this set of cards and sort and uh, shuffle them. Let's say that they're completely nicely shuffled. And now with the cards face down, we'd like to guess or sense what color the card is. So I might say, this pile will be black. So I, those first two I'm guessing are black. The next three I'm guessing are red. The next one is black, another black, another two reds, a black, a red, and a black. So there's where my guesses were. Remember that this pile is supposed to be red. This is the red pile, and this is the black pile. So let's look and see how we did. Let's count up the number of successes. So these are supposed to be black. Great. That one's black. Two, three blacks, and three reds. Now let's look at this pile. Remember that this pile was supposed to be red. So I got that one right, this one wrong, this one wrong, this one right, that one wrong and this one right. So in this case I got one, two, three, four, five, six of them right. Let's do the experiment again. Take the cards, carefully and thoroughly shuffle them. Okay, maybe I'm not shuffling them great, but just pretend that they are shuffled, shuffled real well. Put them in a pile and now we're going to try and sense or guess which color they are. Okay, this one's a red one, a red one, a red one, a black one, a black one, another red one, another bunch of black ones, and maybe this one's a red one, a black one, and a red one. Okay, now remember that this pile is supposed to be red, this pile is supposed to be black. Let's count our successes. So these are supposed to be black. Oops, I got that one wrong. Right, wrong, wrong, right wrong. Now remember, this pile is supposed to be red. So let's count up the ones that I've got here. Oops, wrong, 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 right, right, wrong. So how did we do? We got one, two, three, four of the guesses correct. Let's do the experiment one more time and then I'll tell you what my cousin did. I keep getting four. It's the best I can do. Okay. Shuffling the deck, now we're going to choose black, 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 red, red, black, black, red, black, red, red, one, two, three, four, five, let's say that this one's a red. Okay. So there we are, we want to look at, remember this pile is supposed to be red and this one's supposed to be black. How did we do? Ah, failure, success, 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 woo! Okay, let's look at this one. These are supposed to be red. Success, success, failure, success, success, success. Wow, look at that. We are pretty successful this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten successes. There's a chance that I would guess and get all of them right. There's a chance that I would guess and get all of them wrong. I did this experiment with my cousin. Said, okay, I want you to put these in, in piles, the black ones and the red ones. Just guess. So he took them and said, I'm going to guess that they're all black. He said, wait a minute. You know for sure that you've got at least six of them that are wrong. You've got exactly six of them that are wrong. And he said, that's true, but I'm guaranteed to have six of them that are right as well. Now that's kind of interesting. So if a person could really tell just by by feeling the card or, or sensing the color of the card, how many of them would you expect them to get right if they were claiming that they could do that?
Okay. So, what would you expect on the average to be the number of successes? What would you think the probability of getting exactly seven correct would be? Those are some of the questions that we'd like to investigate.